Hello guys! Greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com. And today with me in this video you will see and hear our beautiful professional psychologist Alessia. We have chosen a very important and really tricky topic for you. We will talk about questions and phrases that turn women off. So the first question that I have heard so many times when I was still the interpreter during the dates and uh, the question that I know I know is so many ladies, uh, they tell it to me when I get the feedback from the date is, do you want to work after you get married? And I will explain to you why it annoys ladies. Because what reaction do you want to hear? In the mind of the lady, if she will tell the gentleman then, oh, I don't want to work, I want to be a housewife, I want to be a homemaker, I want to have babies on the first or the second date, he can assume that uh, she has materialistic intentions, that she is boring, that she is not an interesting person, that she is desperate to marry someone. Or for example, if the lady will answer that I want to continue to work or I really love my job, the gentleman, especially a foreign gentleman, can assume that, oh wow, she will never relocate, or she doesn't want to have kids, or she is not interested in having a family. Why? Because she wants to have a job? So I would say that this question is not the best choice for the first date. Because there is no right answer. Yes. It puts your dating partner into uh, the not very pleasant position and it is not uh, the best thing to do it on the date to put pressure on the lady in front of you. The next question is how much do you earn per year or how much do you pay for your apartment? This also is not a very good question because there is also is no right answer. And also, why is he asking me this? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, why does he want to know how much do I earn? So, usually this question is a big turn off for ladies. And the next question that guys, I don't know why I really like to ask, and ladies really don't like this question, and it is a big turn off for them. Why are you single? You are so beautiful, you are so smart. Why are you still single? I was waiting for you. <laughs> like, when you're asking this question, like, what kind of answer do you expect? I was waiting for you, uh, I was so busy building my career. And if she will ask you, like, uh, why are you still single? It's like accusing her, like, what is wrong with you? Why you can't attract the right guy? So I would say that this question is also a big no-no on a date with a Ukrainian lady. Next stupid question on the first date. Are you ready to relocate to United States or, for example, to China? Guys, nobody wants to relocate on the first date. Mm -hmm. On the first date she's thinking like, uh, should I go out with him on a second date? What should I wear? Uh, I wonder what kind of a kisser he is. She is not thinking about relocating. What kind of an answer do you want to get? If she said, yes, I want to relocate to the US, then she is on a date with you for the wrong reason. And the next really inappropriate question on a date with a Ukrainian lady is, why you don't want to date Ukrainian men? I want. <laughs> I just Maybe. can't meet him. I can't meet the right partner and I want to expand the pool of search. What kind of an answer do you expect? Do you expect her to badmouth like all Ukrainian men and tell that they are all like uh, drinking, playing balalaika? Why are you asking this question? Next question then personally I don't like. It's all questions about your ex. No one likes these questions. Mm -hmm. like, uh, when was the last time you dated someone? Can you tell me about your last serious boyfriend? A psychologist or image maker can ask you about it during the consultation and you can understand why. But because it's not a topic for the first date. Yes, what kind of reaction do you want? Do you want negative energy during the date? You don't need that. So all X questions are taboo at the fragile early stage of dating. And the next really inappropriate question on the first date with a Ukrainian lady for how long are you single and why? I don't know what to answer. Usually it's really so stupid question. For how long? For one month? Is it long? Oh, it is not long term. Why are you single? For how long are you single? Guys, what kind of reaction do you want to get? Why do you need this information? 
what will you do with it? And the next really not very smart idea for the first date or the second or third date with a Ukrainian lady is a presentation of a gentleman who he is like with slideshow of his house, like literally a slideshow, like photos of all his uh, rooms, like look here, that's my kitchen, that's my bathroom, and this is my backyard, and probably you have oh, never... I am. Yeah, and probably you have never heard of the townhouse, like, didn't you? Like, you don't have townhouse in Ukraine. So I will give you a lecture right now, what is a townhouse. Guys, it's not a crime to be proud of your home or to be proud of your workplace, but the first date is not the place for the slideshow. Like, in the mind of the lady, it will be like, he's a serial dater, first of all, and he goes with this presentation like a salesperson to all the dates and shows same photos to all the ladies. What kind of reaction do you expect from the lady? Like, wow, you are so cool. Nobody likes it when people boast too much. The date should be about really getting to know each other, about learning new information about your partner and sharing some information about yourself. And presenting your house or your job with a slideshow, that's like really over the top. No one will like it. Also, the very bad idea for the first date is to give her information how much do you earn per year. Or, for example, what uh, kind of car do you have? Or how successful you are? It's also like, look who I am. You try to impress her not with your personality and not uh, with your looks even, but with your assets. And I have seen like even a worse scenario when the gentleman was boasting what his uncle has, what his parents have. Uh, so he tried to impress the lady with the fact that he is from a wealthy family. Like, a bad idea. Another big red flag or a huge turn off for Ukrainian lady will be a situation when the gentleman is bad mousing his ex-girlfriend or his ex-wife or literally all American women are fed in his mind or all Chinese women are greedy or all French girls are this. Like guys, ladies don't like it when gentlemen bad mouse other ladies. It's a huge turn off for a decent woman. And if the lady likes it, if the girl next to you likes it when you badmouth all other ladies, I would recommend you to date such a girl. Because uh, there should be some issues with her. Why can she be attracted to someone who talks negatively about everyone around? Personally, I think that today he uh, says something bad about his ex or his neighbors, and tomorrow he will say something bad about me. Yes, and people don't like dating negative people. Uh, like, if she is a normal, positive, decent lady, she will run and hide from a gentleman who is talking uh, really badly about uh, all women in his country or his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend, so it won't get you points in her eyes. Another perfect situation for the first date is when he decides to tell her how good-looking he is, how handsome he is, that he doesn't look for his age actually he is very young and very healthy and i don't know all ladies back home want to date him like guys she has eyes she can judge for herself and she sees you i had a funny situation really not very funny uh, i would say it's a bittersweet situation i was conducting a skype interview with a gentleman and uh, we do a video call, so I have read uh, through the questionnaire that he has filled in and it was written that he is 57 years old, but uh, when uh, we have started talking, uh, I had my doubts that he was 57, so he looked like he was in his late 60s, literally. So I was making notes to double check his age, if he will start working with him. And then this gentleman starts telling me that, uh, oh, uh, I have a problem. People don't believe uh, that I look my age. Uh, no one believe that I am uh, this old. And I was thinking like, yes, you look much older. And then he says, people believe that I look like I am in my 30s. And I tried to see when he will start laughing because I thought it was a joke. But he was like dead serious. And then he's asking me like, how old do you think I look? And here I try to think what is the best way out, out of this. Because literally he looks much older than he is. And then he starts uh, telling me, persuading myself and himself that he is so handsome. Like, look, I don't have wrinkles, but I can see you. I sit in front of my computer. You have some problems with your eyes. Probably. And guys, during the dates, don't do it. 
Let the lady decide herself if she finds you handsome. Uh, if you are really a handsome man, uh, she will notice it. So uh, don't try to stress it like, look uh, how cool I look, that I don't look my age. Don't concentrate her attention on this. I don't know why guys do it. Do you? Because who knows, maybe you look at your age. <laughs> What is he hoping for? That uh, she uh, doesn't see him that well? Or after his remarks she will Maybe change she her will mind? she will believe that you are younger. No? That she will believe? Why? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't do it during the date. Like, never. Another huge turn off is when the gentleman starts telling about all his health issues. Like, literally describing all the surgeries he had, all the allergies, and then, like, to kill this date, absolutely kill it, uh, he starts taking some pills and some prescriptions and describes her uh, why is he taking these pills, how bad he feels when, for example, it's spring, springtime, how he's coughing, sneezing. Don't do that! Like, all your health issues, it's not the right place on your first, second, third or fifth date to discuss it. Another bad topic is how everything should be cheap, but why it is not so cheap. Oh. Or for example, how everything is expensive in Ukraine, how come it can be so expensive here? It's Ukraine, it's not New York, for example. Or for example, when the gentleman tell that, oh wow, like this wine is so much cheaper here, it's like so cheap, like words expensive and cheap are not the right choice for the first date, because the lady will feel like it's her fault that everything is not cheap here. Like, what type of reaction do you want to get from her? Like, you have invited her on a date and now you want to make her feel guilty by telling that, oh, it's not so cheap here. Like, what does she have to do with it? Like, take you to another restaurant? Suggest to split the bill? What type of reaction do you want to get from your date? Another huge no-no for a date with a Ukrainian lady is a situation when a gentleman brings flowers and then starts telling that in his country there is no such tradition to bring flowers on the first date and he doesn't understand this tradition, but at the matchmaking agency they have recommended him to bring flowers, so he is bringing flowers. What Thank is the lady so much. thinking? What should I do? <laughs> Like, uh, sorry, you can have them back. I'm really sorry you had to buy me flowers. Like, what type of reaction do you want to get? You brought her flowers, you wanted to get some extra points in the eyes of your date, but you have killed it with your attitude. Or another classy scenario, oh, I didn't know flowers could be so expensive. And the lady feels like it's her fault that flowers are expensive in winter. What can she do with that? Or when he is telling that he wanted to buy her a present, but unfortunately he forgot. Or his present was so expensive, he supposed to be about $20, but somehow it costs about maybe $100. It's so expensive. I have watched a classy situation. A gentleman brought a lady a snow globe from Philadelphia and he literally told her that, oh, there was a snow globe that costed 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, $100, $50, and I've bought you one for $30. And the lady sits and she smiles and it's like, uh, she doesn't know how to react to it because it's like Spanish shame. Uh, she was happy to accept that snow globe, but she didn't need that information. Now she feels like she was too cheap for a snow globe uh, that costed $70, but she was too cool for a snow globe that costed $20. Like, what type of re reaction did you want to get from her? Another classy no-no scenario is when the gentleman comes to rescue a lady from Ukraine and the entire date he's talking like how wonderful US, UK, China, Australia is and how bad everything is in Ukraine. Why do you try to badmouth her motherland? Uh, do you try to attract her uh, not uh, with your pretty face or with your wonderful personality or with your sense of humor, but with the country you live in? Like, literally, what do you expect to gain with uh, such a strategy? Another bad topic is when a gentleman report how much did he pay for the matchmaking service. And also for plane tickets, for the hotel. For flowers, for everything. Why does she need this information? She doesn't need it. Another really bad idea is to badmouth all Ukrainian men during the date and to try to tell how good French guys or American guys are. 
why do you want to do it? Like, uh, she has dated Ukrainian men, of course, there can be bad experience and good and bad people in each culture, but she has male friends, she has brothers, she has a father, uh, she has a son. Why do you try to bad mouse uh, other people to look good in comparison to them? And yeah. usually you don't know uh, about Ukrainian men, you can't judge them. All the information you're getting is like from, I don't know, Soviet movies, movies about Soviet spies. So it makes you look ridiculous, like don't do it. And one more perfect topic is when a gentleman begins to compare this lady with his other dates. It's like classy, I want to make this face palm because uh, after such a comparison usually we can't even repair uh, the impression the gentleman has managed to give to a lady during the date. Like, usually her answer is like, I don't want to go out with him, like, ever again. So guys, I hope it was useful for you and I hope you have managed to take some notes and from now on you won't uh, choose these questions or these topics during your dates uh, with the Ukrainian ladies. We wish you only good dates from Dioda.com. With love.